Hello Ratbags, it's Jay Plays Games. Welcome back to another Conan Exiles update video. A very special update video. It is update 23. It has hit literally only an hour ago. I've got the first gameplay I'm hoping of how to use the new treasure bird trebuchets. The trebuchets. The trebuchets. They've just been added into the game. Before we get on with that and I'll show you the tutorial on how to do it, let's go over exactly what got added into the update. So the Trebuchet Siege Engine has arrived. This is what you're going to need to start crafting all these different types of Siege Engines. You can fire off the Siege Boulder and the Demon Fire. And just to give you guys a little taste of what to expect, let's go. Are you ready for this? Fire! Whoa! That's pretty cool, that is pretty epic. I'm going to show you exactly how to make the trebuchet, exactly what you need. Look at that, it's just destroyed a portion of my base. Oh shit, son. So that was the Demon Fire Barrage. You've also got the Siege Boulder. They've also fixed a lot of building issues. Last week a lot of people were complaining over not being able to place certain things like gates and fence posts, etc. They now correctly place into the sockets. They've also changed dodge mechanics so that you no longer um, dodge while moving forward or partially forward. The yellow lotus potion should now work as intended and they've certain religions and NPCs will now respawn properly. They've done a bunch of fixes and bugs, I'm not going to list them all but some of the key ones are Dye ingredients are now easier to get and harvest Gates can be placed in gateways Crystals in imp caves can now be picked up they fixed loads of bugs where players were falling through the map. They've taken off the decay system of certain items. If you don't know what the decay system is, it's basically to stop people leaving their crap all over maps and never playing on it again. Over time, some of this stuff will decay, especially foundations. They've also changed some server settings so you now can modify how much you gain corruption. They've added brand new text for all the new weapons, dyes and the dogs of the desert armor set. And a big bug that some people might not know about is if you've got a fraud in your inventory when trying to die at an item, your game client will crash. This will be fixed in the next patch. As well as that, they've announced a brand new initiative for exploit hunters. If you can find an exploit that is literally you're the first person to discover it and it's serious, like cheating, like being able to duplicate items or climb under the map, you can report it and you may get rewarded with actual money. I'll leave the link down below, you can go and check out the website and get all the full patch notes yourself. But they're the highlights for me, what's most important. Now let's get on to the main bit, let's see if we can blow up my base. So to make the trebuchet you're going to need the carpenter. Once you've unlocked that you're going to need the carpenter's bench. You're also going to need the engineer. It's level 15. But it unlocks all the brand new siege stuff. The trebuchet is only the first part of the siege items we're going to be getting. The siege foundation will allow you to craft different types of different machines. So the first one is the trebuchet, but we will be seeing more in the future. So to recap, unlock carpenter, unlock engineer, and then you should be able to start building your actual trebuchet. In your carpenter's bench you're going to have two things you can build, the siege foundation and the trebuchet base. Craft up a siege foundation, it's going to cost you 30 pieces of shaped wood and 25 bricks. So not the most resource heavy item. Once you've got your siege foundation, place it wherever you want. Now you won't be able to pick these up. As you can see you can only dismantle it. So think carefully about where you're going to place it. You can alter the length and how far your actual siege weapon works. I'm going to show you guys how to do that too. So once you've got your siege foundation, then you can actually make your trebuchet base. The trebuchet base is going to cost you 200 wood and 13 iron reinforcements. So again, not the most taxing on your resources. You can then put on your actual trebuchet base. And it should snap snugly on. Just pop it on, you can change the angle in two seconds, and there you go. After that you then have to build it up with resources. So you can see here, to actually make the frame we're going to need 200 wood and another 13 iron reinforcements. 
and you will now be able to craft your actual trebuchet frame. And there we go. And we're nearly done, guys. Once again, open it up, and it will tell you exactly what you need for the next part. So again, 13 more iron reinforcements, 200 wood, and 25 twine. Once you've got all your resources in again, simply click on it and press craft. And there you go, that is your completed trebuchet. Now it is a little bit complicated to use at first, so I'm going to guide you through exactly what you need to do. So to move it into position, what you need to do is come over to either one of these sides and start actually pushing it to what direction you want to go. Now obviously you want the little handle at the back, that is the back of it, that's the back of the direction you want it to go, and you want this to be at the front of wherever you're aiming. So you really are going to have to line it up. I think there will just about do, yeah that looks good. Once you've done that you're going to need to put some stuff in it. Once you've pressed E and opened it up, you can see you've got the siege borders here. You can make them with 25 stone and 10 bits of twine. I've already got some ready to go. Now the important bit is the bottom, the counterweight. You're going to need to work out exactly how far the distance is that you want it to travel. So you may have to experiment a little bit between 1, 2, 3, 4, maybe even 9, 10 boulders. Now you may need to experiment whether or not you need 10 boulders, 5 boulders, 3 boulders to get it as far as you want. The more boulders in this bottom part, the further you'll be able to fire your load. Let's try the 3 boulders and we've got one spare boulder. You put this in the siege weapon area like that. And we're nearly good to go. Press E on this and it will set it. Once you're ready, once you're good to go, aim at the stick here and press the E button. Oh, and we was close enough. We hit the foundations there. Now, to reset it, you don't simply just press this again. You can see nothing's happening. You need to come to the front here, wind it back up. Check you've still got some resources in there to actually fire. So this time I've got four boulders in the actual counterweight and I've put two demon fire barrage in the inventory. Make sure you put one of these in the siege weapon part. That's your actual load, what you're going to fire. And then it's another case of just pressing the E button on the actual trebuchet handle. Oh! Look at that. It's took even more away. Let's see what damage some more can do. We've got some over here already, I do believe. Wind it up. Check what's inside. Right, I've got eight siege boulders in the counterweight section here, and we've got one demon fire. Let's fire this bad boy up and see what happens. Are you ready? Fire. Wow, that is cool. I like that. I like that a lot. Look how much damage it's done. Look, it's taken a couple of walls. Quite a few walls. Look, they're all still crumbling still. That is crazy. Not as much damage as I thought it would do. Uh, no, yeah, it's taken quite a bit. It's taken one, two, three, four walls there and a doorway. That's five pieces. There will be two left over if you're trying to fill it up so that obviously it can fill up the last two slots. And then after you've crafted it, you can then make sure it's completely filled up. So let's reset it again. We're going to turn it just ever so slightly here. And let's go. Fire. Ooh. 
Now be careful when you're actually aiming or trying to reset it. Sometimes if you do it at the wrong portion, it'll just come up with the inventory menu where it won't work at all. We're just going to keep firing until we actually demolish something. Wow. That one's pretty good. Free damage there. Fire again. Now this was my lovely base build I actually made in a video. But we can always rebuild it. It's pretty nifty. It is pretty nifty. Let's move it over to the right a little bit. That's pretty cool. I wonder if we can get a little bit higher. Let's put some more counterweights inside it and see what happens. So it really can go a fair distance and they bounce on top of the ceiling as well. Let's go and take a look at what damage that did. Okay, it didn't do that much damage to the actual roof or the seed in there. And you can see the distance from the trebuchet to my base is fairly considerable. If you're doing this on a PvP server, you're going to have to obviously work out how to protect your trebuchet from would-be attackers. Ideally, you want a two-man crew at least, possibly even three. One person to load it up and fire, one person to move it and one person at least to keep a lookout to make sure no one is coming for you. Lastly, we're going to look at the demon fire and actually how you make it. So what do you actually need to make your demon fire barrage? Well, you're going to need your experienced survivalist, a fireball cauldron, and pottery. After that, you'll be able to unlock the explosive jar, which gives you the ability to either place the explosive jars or make demon fire barrage at your trebuchet. We're going to have one more go with the demon fire this time. Interestingly, when you switch to all demon fire, you can only fire 15 at a time instead of 20 boulders. Okay, let's do this. Wahaha! It does a significant amount of damage. Look at that. It's taken off everything. Fire. Holy crap. It's literally destroyed my base. So definitely demon fire is the one if you can get hold of it. So there we go guys, that is the Trebuchet tutorial done and update finished. I host my own Conan Exile server if you want to join me. It's a PvP server, let me know in the comments section down below, send me a message on Steam, add me on Steam, all the information can be found in the description. I'll be back for even more Conan tutorials and guides as well as every single update, the major ones, I'll be giving you the information exactly when it drops. I'm Jay Plays Games, I'll see you guys later.